the armed forces of Ukraine will have an opportunity to use U.S.-delivered longer-range Atakins tactical missiles to strike targets in Crimea, the New York Times newspaper wrote citing unnamed Pentagon officials according to the newspaper, Ukrainian forces will be able to use the recently delivered missiles to more effectively target Russian forces in Crimea. The goal is to put more pressure on Crimea, the paper says, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters earlier that U.S. President Joe Biden ordered to transfer a large number of Atakins tactical ballistic missiles to Ukraine back in February, with the delivery itself taking place in March. Later, the Pentagon press service said the handover was not made public on a request from Kiev recently, the U.S. Senate approved a package of bills to provide military aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan to confiscate Russia's frozen assets for their transfer them to Kiev, and to impose additional sanctions on China. On April 20, the bills were approved in the U.S. House of Representatives. The total volume of the package amounted to $95 billion. It includes, in particular, $61 billion for Ukraine, $26 billion for Israel, as well as funds for humanitarian aid to civilians in conflict zones, including the Gaza Strip. Biden signed the law on April 24. Earlier, the New York Times reported citing a high-ranking U.S. administration official that Washington delivered over 100 longer-range Atoms to the Kiev government, as well as their modification with cluster munitions. The newspaper said that the U.S. administration kept the delivery secret with only several high-ranking members of the U.S. Congress being aware of it. ATA CMS missiles will easily destroy all Russian air defense in Crimea, military expert. The United States of America will provide Ukraine with ATA CMS missiles in a new package of assistance, informs CNN. Last autumn, the United States sent Ukraine a variant of the medium-range ATA CMS missile system, which can reach about 160 kilometers, while the longer-range version can reach 305 kilometers. Ukrainian military expert Oleksandr Kovalenko says that after the last attack on the airfield in the Zankoy area, Russian propaganda platforms immediately began to report that Ukraine carried out an attack with ATA CMS ballistic missiles, but they were all shot down. Sometime later, Russian patriots were completely covered with panic moods in connection with the real results of the strike. Subsequently, a video was published showing the launch of six MGM-140B Block 1A missiles, which was attributed to the attack on Zankoy. Based on this, the strike potential was exactly six ballistic missiles, Kovalenko added. According to him, in turn, on the satellite images published later at the airfield in Zankoy, six fire areas spaced apart by distance were clearly recorded. That is, all the missiles flew to their destination. The effectiveness of the strike turned out to be maximum, but the question arises, how many missiles of this type may be needed in general to disable the Russian air defense in the Crimea? We witnessed how effectively the division was destroyed by six ATA CMS missiles in Zankoy. In fact, thanks to the incident, the north of the temporarily occupied peninsula of Crimea is not covered from the penetration and flight of some medium and large-sized objects, Kovalenko added. In general, the strike of six MGM-140B Block 1A missiles on the airfield near Zankoy disabled the entire division of the 18th Anti-Aircraft Missile Regiment. That is, this is the minimum indicator of the effective use of this component and it should be considered as a basic one. In other words, to disable other divisions, an impact potential of six missiles or more is required. I think you do not need to be a genius to calculate that. In general, a resource of at least 24 MGM-140B Block 1A missiles is needed to disable the long-range air defense components of the S-400 air defense system in Crimea. But again, this is if the goal is the complete neutralization of the S-400 air defense system in Crimea, Kovalenko added. NATO nuclear facilities, if permanently deployed in Poland, will be a military target for Russia, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov told. He warned that joint nuclear missions of NATO countries close to the Russian border add to the threats to Russia's security. Let alone permanent deployment hotheads in Warsaw are speaking about, Ryabkov said. That is why all those politicians who are discussing such an option in and outside Poland should understand. Any steps in this direction will not add to Poland's security and relevant facilities will inevitably be a target. And they will be in the fore in our military planning. 
According to the senior Russian diplomat, discussions around the deployment of NATO nuclear facilities in Poland are an unfolding story. He stressed that Moscow is keeping a close eye on how various bodies of Poland's executive branch are mulling this topic in their domestic discourse. In an interview with the Fact newspaper, Duda said that Poland is ready to deploy nuclear warheads under NATO's nuclear sharing program. According to the Polish president, he has discussed this matter with U.S. partners more than once if there were a decision by our allies to deploy nuclear weapons within the nuclear sharing also on our territory in order to strengthen the security of NATO's eastern flank, we are ready, Duda said. He said Poland is aware of its obligations within the 32-member alliance that includes the United States. In Moscow, a Kremlin spokesperson said any deployment of U.S. nuclear weapons in Poland would be met with steps necessary for Russia's security, the military will, of course, analyze the situation if such plans are implemented, and in any case will do everything necessary, will take all the necessary retaliatory steps to guarantee our safety, Dmitry Peskov said.